extra chair. I see Earl walking up. They might share a chair with him. And anybody else that gets here gets here. But let's start this morning by uh, opening prayer. And since we don't have a screen today, I've got the Lord's Prayer printed in a bulletin. If you didn't pick one up, there's several on the table where Harriet is. There's also in that same bulletin the hymn that we're going to sing in just a moment. So if you didn't pick up a paper, we're going to sing Since Jesus Came Into My Heart. So I see several of you going over to the table. Yes, please get a bulletin. And then finally, the doxology, I think, might be in there as well. Or later, so maybe grab a bulletin or three and pass them around, see who needs it. And we'll get ourselves going today. So if you could, everybody that can... Rise, stand up, and if you can't stand, let's stand in spirit for sure. And we will open with a prayer that will end with the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for inviting you to this house that was built 160 years ago this year, this summer, for getting us out of ourselves and we hope more into you. And that on this Sunday, as we have a special and a different sort of worship celebration, that we grow closer to you, we learn more about you, and also learn the fellowship of just getting together with like-minded believers, having a good time, sharing a laugh, enjoying music, and enjoying a, a lunch, too. And now to affirm our belief together in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and his Father, God, and in the Holy Spirit, let us say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Stay standing. We're going to sing a hymn together. We'll sing it a cappella style. Barney Fife called it Acapulco style. If you know, since Jesus came into my heart, it is a fast-paced, sprightly tune. We got folks driving up through every bit of it, and I'm glad of it. But let's sing this together. And on the last verse, you got it? Okay, Christian's got it with us too. Yeah, exactly. So on the fifth and last verse, if our servers could come up here, we'll be having communion both ways today. If you like to take from the tray that's been prepared by hand, you can. If you'd rather have a prepackaged communion, we have several of those on the table in the back. Christian? What a wonderful change in my life has been brought since Jesus came into my heart. I have light in my soul for which long I have sought since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. Floods of joy o'er my soul like the sea billows roll since Jesus came into my heart. I have ceased from my wandering and going astray since Jesus came into my heart. And my sins, which were many, are all washed away since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart, since Jesus came into my heart, floods of joy o'er my soul like the sea billows roll, since Jesus came into my heart. I'm possessed of a hope that is steadfast and sure, since Jesus came into my heart. And no dark clouds of doubt, now my pathway obscure, since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. 
Floods of joy o'er my soul like the sea billows roll since Jesus came into my heart. There's a light in the valley of death now for me since Jesus came into my heart. And the gates of the city beyond I can see since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart, since Jesus came into my heart, floods of joy o'er my soul like the sea billows roll, since Jesus came into my heart. Last verse. I shall go there to dwell in that city I know, since Jesus came into my heart. And I'm happy, so happy as onward I go, since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. Floods of joy o'er my soul like the sea billows roll. Since Jesus came into my heart. You all may be seated. I'm going to share a scripture with you. As we, as we prepare for communion, we didn't say much about this building up to it, but today is the day of Pentecost. 50 days since Christ arose. Here's the scripture from Acts chapter 2. Verses 1 to 13, it says, When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place, like we are. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now there were staying in Jerusalem God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard their own language being spoken. Utterly amazed, they asked, Aren't all these who are speaking Galileans? Then how is it that each of us hears them in our native language? Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues. Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, what does this mean? Some, however, made fun of them and said, they have had too much wine. Now I hope and pray that the wonders of our Father in heaven, of Jesus Christ the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, make us act to the point that some people don't even know what we're doing. They don't recognize and they wonder, are they too drunk on wine? Because the way that we are is so different. Oftentimes when we're in a church, we're not very different from everyone else. And unfortunately, sometimes in a church family, we're not even as nice as some folks that are in church. Some of those stereotypes that exist about church folk, a lot of them are real. Sorry, not sorry. As we come together for Holy Communion now, we are taking in symbolically the body of Christ. And we're taking in symbolically the blood of Christ. So as you receive it today from one of our, our men, I ask you to hold on to it, the elements, and we'll take them together. So let's pray. Lord, we pray today that our, our Holy Communion means exactly what it's supposed to, that this is the body and blood of Christ as believers in the gospel, that as we take it today, we feel fortified in our faith and strengthened in our belief and invigorated in the work that needs to be done. It's in the name of Jesus we do pray. Amen. Amen.
Let's bow our heads. Dear Lord, as we come to your table, let us be that we come with a clear mind and a humble heart and remember the sacrifice that you gave us through the death, burial, and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ. And let us reflect on it as we take these elements. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. On the day of the Last Supper, as they gathered around the table, Jesus took the bread, he blessed it, and he broke it and passed his disciples. He said, This represents my body that will be broken for you. Take and eat. In the same manner, he blessed the wine and poured it to his disciples. He said, This represents my blood that will be shed for you. Take this in remembrance of me. Dear Heavenly Father, y'all to remember that usually when we're in the chapel we have communion we've for years and years and years had offering at the same time we've moved the offering to the table where the men are replacing the communion elements right now if you have an offering for Drennan Christian Church there's a there's a plate marked as such and at the end of the communion and offering we always stand for the doxology so would you stand with us right now and the words of the doxology if you do not know it are at the very back of the bulletin under the Bible reading plan. Let's sing together. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Lord, we ask for your blessings today as we've partaken of this holy meal, that we continue on in our worship, that we ponder on you and ask your will for how you, we would spend our week praising your name and, and spreading your gospel to other people who need to hear your story. And it's in the name of Jesus we do pray. Amen. You may be seated. As for now, um, for any prayer needs to be brought up, let me grab my pen so that I can document these in our paper. Anybody have one they need to be brought up today? Marcy. Dave McGill. Medill. Do you know how to spell Medill? Okay. So it's your sister's father in law, stage four cancer. Who else today? Raise your hand and wave it loud and proud so I can tell. Harriet, you had one that was texted to you this morning. Fireproof, war room, courageous, all that. This was sent to you by a lifelong friend. Right. Anderson. Who else today do we need to bring up? Amanda. So Lindy Carnell, the young lady in her early mid-twenties who's been in and out of the hospital since she was a teen. A prayer vigil on Facebook Live tonight at 9.15. Okay. And you say 9.15 on Facebook Live? Okay. She's on our list for sure. Any others today? All right. Let's go into prayer now. 
I'll have a silent time and I'll close this, okay? Lord, we do pray today for those that have been mentioned, for Lindy Carnell, for David McGill, for Elijah Anderson, for all that are on our prayer list here and unspoken prayer needs that sometimes are too tender to bring up, too private. Be with everybody that has been struggling lately with what's been happening with uh, the mass shootings. It seems like almost every day there's another one in the news. Help us to understand and help help people with this heart issue. This is a heart issue. Bless us through the rest of the service today as well. It's the name of Jesus we do pray. Amen. All right, we have celebrations and announcements. I know that um, we always have a birthday, it seems, each week or an anniversary. And I know that the birthday we have this week is in our family. So is there anybody here that happens to have a birthday perhaps tomorrow on June 6th that is looking down at the ground really hard right now? They don't want... Oh, there he is. Hi, looking up. So our grandson, Trace Brothers, is becoming a teenager tomorrow. Pray for us, okay? Pray for us on that. He is turning 13. He's back there trying to hide his best um, back in the back row in the peanut gallery, the rest of our family members back there. So we're going to, does anybody else have a birthday this week between now and Saturday? All right, we're going to sing Happy Birthday, Dear Trace, all right? In the key of J. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Trace. Happy birthday to you. And many, many, many more. And let's clap for that young man. And again, pray for his mother, his grandparents, his uncle, all of everybody. All right, for our announcements, we do have things going on at Drennan. If you did get the paper bulletin, I hope you did. If not, there probably are a few more. Take one home with you. We are down to, I think, our last week of our Bible study. This Wednesday, Culture Shock. This is another um, episode about politics, of all things these people don't want to talk about. That's what we want to talk about in the church. So the last week of Culture Shock. This Friday we have uh, the Help Center distribution pickup. If you are interested in helping out with that at all, see Ron and Brenda Banta. They've taken over that ministry where we have a once a month food pickup here. Um, next Sunday, right after worship, we have a board meeting. So a full board meeting the first uh or the second quarterly board meeting of the year. So if you're part of the board or an elder, be ready to stay for that. I think we're going to have a choir practice that what day as well because our next time that our choir is going to sing a song is going to be on Father's Day the week after that. So two weeks from today is Father's Day. Speaking of that, we have had, I think, 15 or 16 of you turn in pictures of your dearly departed dads for our video that will be shown on Father's Day. If you haven't yet, please send that to me as soon as possible, a picture the name of your dad, and the year he was born, and when he passed on, so we can get that into the video for Father's Day. Um, we are, it uh, looks like right now, going to take a break through the summer months, uh, June, July, and August for the study school, so that we can uh, take pressure off folks for the summer months. I know a lot of you like to get away to a lake or somewhere else, and uh, the pressure of being part of the Sunday school class or leading that uh, during those travel months is, is tough, so we'll reevaluate in early August about the new school year of Sunday school. So none for right now. We are going to have a movie night coming up. Church People is uh, the Wednesday after Father's Day, the 22nd. This is a really good, very funny, very satirical church movie because uh, we're very easy to make fun of as church people. And sadly, that's, that's the case. A men's breakfast is listed there for the 25th at the Parker Farm Center in Port Royal. We can't stop eating up there. Um, just ask... Troy Holder about that. I, he's been banned, but I think his ban ends the day of the 25th, so we'll go back there and eat right then. And then lastly, the last thing I'll mention for now is that on the back of your bulletin, you have our next musical day. This won't be outside because as warm as it is on June 5th, it's going to do nothing but get hotter and hotter. So next time we have a musician, Eric Horner, who's not been here in three years, will be here and we'll be inside. So consider coming to that. It is a good time, and it's a good time to invite people to come to worship that aren't in it together. Any announcements need to be made by anyone but myself? I'm really getting close to shutting up. So 
All right, none of others. All right, I'm going to say one more thing as we get ready to introduce Christian is that we have a basket right here. This is a love offering basket. Now, it feels really heavy with all this money in it. Actually, it's because there's a big rock so the money doesn't fly away. But the way that we reimburse these folks that travel around the country to bring us music is basically to put money into a basket and then have our treasurer write a check at the end of the service to them. Now, Christian's driven here from Nashville, and I think in Tennessee, is the gas like a dollar eight a gallon? No, he just made an upset stomach sound, so it's just as bad or worse there, so it's awful. So if you possibly can, uh, the minister's going to walk around now with this basket and give you a really guilty look in your face while he starts to sing. So consider putting something in here with this rock, and we'll get this to Barb, our treasurer, later in the service. So without any further ado, we're going to bring up and start with our singer Christian. Now, you, you've you seen him. If you get on YouTube, he's there. He's done so many things. He was for many years with Daly and Vincent, which are a big outfit. He's got a song on there with Rhonda Vincent. He's got songs on YouTube with, with John Schneider, one of the Duke boys. It's crazy. That speaks to my heart. <laughs> but it, if you name somewhere to play that's prestigious in the country, he's played there. If you name someone in country music that you love, he's probably played with them too. So Christian's been to our church. This will be his fourth time here, which is crazy. And uh, he's been willing to come outside and breeze keep a coming. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our worship service, Christian Davis. Hello, everybody. It'll be a good day, y'all. He was feeling really low He said, I'm gonna have to work overtime Just to steal me another soul Then he came on up into Tennessee Where he found a fiddler named Dan He gave a stump speech How he couldn't be beat With a golden fiddle in his hand Dan stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the devil And everybody and I Gambling might be a sin, but I tell you what, man, music drives the devil out. Then he sang, I'm gonna climb that mountain, pull a tear up in the shade, and get my fiddle out, sing and dance about, ain't nothing gonna get in my way. Cause I'm gonna climb that mountain, I'm gonna get on my knees and pray. And when we sing and shout, we'll drive the devil out, cause it's gonna be a good day. How many believe it's gonna be a good day? Just wave at me. Come on now. Well, the devil threw a fit. He didn't like it one bit. So he squalled and he jumped around. He made a really big scene, if you know what I mean, right there in the middle of town. The old Dan didn't mind. He stood his ground. And everybody and I, and with his fiddle in his hand and an angel band, they drove the old devil out, singing, I'm gone. Pull a tear up in the seat And get my feet loud Sing and dance about Ain't nothing gonna get in my way Cause I'm gonna climb that mountain I'm gonna get on my knees and pray And when we sing the shout We'll drive the devil out Cause it's gonna be a good day If you ever see the old devil with his fiddle in another town Propped up on a stump, well, he'll probably be drunk Playing tunes with an eerie sound Remind him about old Dan and tell him he's heading into town And with his fiddle in his hand and an angel band They're gonna send him where the sun don't shine Cause I'm gonna climb that mountain Pull a tear up in the seat they get my feet loud, sing and dance about Ain't nothing gonna get in my way Cause I'm gonna climb that mountain I'm gonna get on my knees and pray And when we sing the shout, we'll drive the devil out Cause it's gonna be a good day Woo. It's already a good day, y'all. We're alive and breathing. Amen.
Welcome everybody. We're going to have a good time today. Enjoy this beautiful weather, all right? I'm glad you showed up today. Oh, we serve them at the mission every Tuesday night. Some are starving to death. Some just got them hungry eyes. A friend asked me, how do you do that? I ain't never waited on another man. Kentucky this morning. We're going to do a little bluegrass, that's all right, but y'all feel free to clap if y'all want to. Come on. we got a good crowd here today. Come on. Ain't nothing wrong with having a good time at church, y'all. Come on. Well, I can't do my job driving over my feet. And my boss said this was my last week. I hope he's right, and my time is up. No, I can't look down for looking up. No, I can't look down for looking up. Never thought I'd watch of the sky this much. I'm waiting on the Lord above. I can't look down for looking up. I can't look 
said it was all right to do my thing today so we'll probably do a few guns and roses and metallica songs today so <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs>
little working man song for you. so great to me over the years and so i appreciate y'all letting me come back and uh, just be with you today and sing a little bit to you is that all right all right good deal all right you guys i'm for those who have not seen me before my name's christian and i'm originally from alabama but we're living in the nashville tennessee area now so we, we've made our home there for about 13 about 13 years now so uh, god's been good to us and uh, we've been able to see a lot of this world uh, musically a lot of great music being used a lot of great people and uh, but there ain't nothing like coming home to an old country church and singing to just like this outdoors and enjoying the beauty that the good Lord gave us today. So um, we're just gonna soak it in today, and then we're gonna eat some food here a little bit later, right? Woo! Come on for food. <laughs> hey, I'm a country boy, y'all. I, I, y'all can't ain't nothing too country for me. I'm I'm whole cultured buttermilk biscuit country. That's that's just country for me. So. 
Uh, we're on TikTok today. We're on Facebook. So all of my TikTok people over here, they're, they're, they know what I'm talking about. They, they love buttermilk biscuits too. So, <laughs> so uh, team buttermilk for them. Uh, but anyway, we're going to have a good time today. And uh, we're going to sing a few new songs today. Some of, the, some of these songs you might not have heard before. Baseball pits, a corner on 19th and Main. His grip on the gospel is one claim to fame. The earl's fire and brimstone at the cars passing by as he offers salvation from the Savior on high. His khakis were tattered and he ain't bathing weeks. His bout with the bottle showed up on his cheeks. But he looks like a scarecrow, a sight to behold as he works for the shepherd, bringing lambs to the fold. He points to the Bible that he holds in his hand. Says, I'm proof that the good Lord can save any man. Son, it ain't what you're driving or the clothes that you wear. Material possessions won't matter up there. And someday in heaven, the angels I'll sing. These old rags that I'm wearing will be fit for a king. Well, he's fighting a fever in spite the chill. He pulls up his collar and he speaks to God's will. Mm, his body is weakened, but his faith is still strong as he's filled with conviction for the mission he's on. And no soon in heaven he'll be homeless no more. As his words will soon echo from that far distant shore. Son, it ain't what you're driving or the clothes that you wear. Material possessions, it won't matter a thing. And someday in heaven, the angels are. be fit for a king. And someday in heaven with the angels I'll sing. These old rags that I'm wearing will be fit for a king. For three years in a row. Well, high up on Mount Carmel, Elijah stood his ground. He offered up his sacrifice, the fire of God came down. That's when the people realized how far they had gone wrong. Elijah 
doctor said, go home, there'll be rain before too long. He prayed again, he prayed again, he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain. Well, a farmer in the country had veered away from God. He looked across his fields and saw a dying crop. Scorched by heat and sun and wind, his stalk and leaf was dry. He fell down on his knees, have mercy, did he cry? Mm -hmm. But he prayed again, he prayed again, he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain. Uncertainty is settled in your soul. Let there be no doubt that the Lord can make you whole. Remember how the prophet kneeled down on the rock and said an earnest prayer upon the mountain top. Oh, he prayed again, he prayed again, he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain. Well, he prayed again, he prayed again, he prayed again. singing this song. How many Randy Travis fans are out there? I like Randy Travis. He was a big inspiration to me when it came to listening to and singing country music. Here's an old song that was off one of his gospel albums. Hope you enjoy it. Mm, everybody gathered where the river runs wider at the edge of town. To see that itty leave on baptism was really gonna go down. Folks bet their hard earned money that water wouldn't change a thing. Mm, they set the odds at a hundred to one, he so would never complain. But then the preacher said, People take a moment or two for something that we need to do. Pray for the fish. They won't know what's coming when the sin starts rolling off the likes of him. Lord, be with them. They ain't done nothing. Please, won't you leave them just a little bit of room to swim? Pray for the fish. Well, the preacher ducked him under that cool, clear water, then he did it again. Daddy came up yelling, Lord in heaven, hallelujah, I'm a brand new man. Well, the water got the bubbling, the sky got the rumbling, the thunder backed up the choir. The fish started jumping, it was like they were swimming in a lake of fire. Then Eddie's mama stepped out of the crowd and started yelling out loud, pray for the fish. They won't know what's coming when the sin starts rolling off the likes of him. Lord, be with them. They ain't done nothing. Please, won't you leave them just a little bit of room to swim? Pray for the fish. He said, everybody cross your fingers and fold your hands. Mm -hmm. Pray for old lady, but before we say amen. Pray for the fish. Mm, yeah. Well, Lord, be with them. They ain't done nothing. Please, won't you leave them just a little bit of room? Lord, be with them. They ain't done nothing. Please, won't you leave them just a little bit of room to swim? Pray for the fish. Lord, pray 
for the field. Down and pray for them fish, y'all. Come on with it. <laughs> Sing with me. I have to do this everywhere I go. <laughs> Y'all know it. Sing along with me, all right? There's a long black train coming down the line, feeding off the souls who are lost and crying. Rails of sin, only evil remains. Watch out, brother, for that long black train. Look to the heavens, you can look to the sky. 
You can find redemption staring back into your eyes. There is protection and there's peace the same. Burning your ticket for that long black train. Cause there's victory in the Lord, I say. Victory in the Lord. Cling to the Father in His holy name. And don't go riding on that long black train. Where's an engine this year on that long black train? Making you wonder if the ride is worth the pain And he's just waiting on your heart to say Let me ride on that long black train Here's the best part But you know there's victory in the Lord, I say Victory Cling to the Father in His holy name. And don't go riding on that long black train. so good but I must stay away that train is a beauty making everybody stare it's only destination is the middle of nowhere but you know there's victory in the Lord I say victory train you definitely don't want to be on y'all this old crazy world out there y'all i don't think i have to tell anybody y'all y'all can turn on the news and figure it out for yourself it's pretty pretty crazy ain't it it's uh sometimes frowned upon i frowned upon when we start talking about how bad things are but i'm gonna be honest with you it's it's bad <laughs> if we can't be honest at church where can we be honest at you know it's it's bad but i'm thankful today for a god who loves me in spite of everything that's going around me going on around me he loves us today no matter what what circumstance you're in today no matter what part of life you're in he loves you today and uh, i'm grateful for that for another chance just to stand up here on the front porch of a church today and sing and i'm just grateful for the opportunity to be living Although we have our issues, but we're still the greatest country in my book this world has ever seen. And we have the freedom to stand here and sing, sit outside and on the porch and just listen to the birds sing and listen to those birds, y'all. Freedom to do that today. A lot, of, a lot of people in other countries don't have that chance to do that. But I'm just grateful today that God loves us and gives us these chances and opportunities to, to enjoy his beauty today. So um, very grateful for that today. There you go.
a country boy, and I like the simple things of life. I hope you do too. Here's a song that talks about it. I got an old coffee mug that my granddad used to own. I'm sipping it slow on the porch, and it's good to be home. <laughs> Watching the sun come up and a dove on the wing I'm thinking while I listen to the mockingbird sing That I, I sure do love the simple things The best things in life, you don't plug in A sky full of stars or a hand in the wind A long kiss or a good old memory Keeping you grounded and making you whole Reminding you you got a soul Long as I got a full belly and a song to sing I'll be thanking God for the simple things things alive y'all you gotta love it well how many how many follow bluegrass music how many listen to bluegrass music you may listen to bluegrass yeah we're in kentucky y'all somebody's gotta listen to bluegrass <laughs> well if you if you don't know anything about bluegrass um the father of bluegrass as we know mr bill monroe and uh holding that f5 mandolin on his strapped on his shoulder there but uh we we call him the father of bluegrass music and he grew up in a little town not too far away from here a little town called Rosine, kentucky and a little little big town y'all got maybe two traffic lights in it probably if you blink you'll miss it and uh i was asked by your pastor today to sing this song so um here's a song that talks about the life of bill monroe and uh, where he grew up in the city of Rosine, kentucky called Rosine night cry there's a place in western Kentucky I know that is hidden way back in the trees. The air there's filled with a high lonesome sound that'll make you fall down on your knees. Where do we hide way back in old Kentucky? When the sun goes down on 
a small, small town You can see that big blue moonshine sing a song uh, written by him when I first heard this song I absolutely it just it floored me um, I, this this crazy world that we're living in today there's a lot of people that that are sitting around you or standing around you that you just don't know what they're going through you have no idea and um, a lot of folks are, are in need of some help and they don't know where to turn um, but this song says it so so much better than I can although this particular story of this song is not my story but it may be somebody's story here today or it may be somebody's story uh, maybe somebody in your family or a friend or a co-worker or maybe you're watching by uh, Facebook or TikTok or, or wherever you're watching from uh, it could be your story today but um, I want to sing this song written by my buddy uh, Tim Menzies I'm sure you've heard it I'm sure he sung it here but uh uh, it's it's going on my album, and it's a brand new song, so uh, it goes just like this. Well, hello, I'm Pastor Tom. Welcome to the Fourth Street Mission. Grab some chairs, I'll close the doors. 
Sorry about the noise from the kitchen. You're wondering why I called you here. I met a man two days ago. Spent a lifetime in a bottle. When time got short, his mind got clear. He wrote some lines down and I got them. I promised him I'd read this to you. To my ex-wife, I leave my heart. It always belonged to you. It never went along with choices that I son who's a dad by now I pass this down to you don't miss birthday scouts or little league ball games I met the demon in that bar to take my life we had no right to drag you through my 30 year suicide Set in this duffel bag, I found an old scrapbook album with newspaper clips and photographs, handwritten notes all around it. There's 20 years of his life in here. Here's a page of baseball games. I bet you didn't know he was watching. And mom, you look proud on graduation day. He wrote here, I'm gonna sober up and call her. They softly cried. My pastor read him. To my ex-wife, I leave my heart. It always belonged to you. It never went along with choices that I made. To our son, who's a dad by now. Pass this down to you. Don't miss birthday scouts or little league ball games. I let the demon in that bottle take my life. We had no right to drag you through my 30 year suicide.
nothing but the blood of Jesus. Seven years old, trying to be Tarzan when the tire swing broke. This was from high school when I left the house mad, tore down that dirt road, took the corner too fast. Got this in one summer on the bank of Salt Creek. Brother thought he caught a big one, but it was just me. There's one on my heart When I saw Daddy cry As they folded up that flag When his daddy died Every scar's got a story to tell How life left its mark on me I can't forget how it felt The memories are carved so deep just proof that I'm living, that's what they are, every scar has a story to tell. Well, everybody's got them, reminders of her past. Some make us cry, some make us laugh. We wear some with honor. Some we try to hide, but the ones that change my life the most aren't even mine. All oh, they cover the back of an innocent man. He's got them from nails in his feet and in his hands. There's one on his side where a sword cut him deep. They're all over him instead of me. Every scar's got a story to tell How love left its mark on me I won't forget how it felt The memories are carved so deep Just proof that I'm forgiven That's what they are Every scar has a story to tell Just you wait and see 
She'd say goodnight and kiss my cheek. Pray the Lord my soul would keep. Never thought I would be singing mama sleep. special song about mama today i know some of y'all um i know my mom's still here she's still with us on this earth and i'm very grateful for mama grateful for my daddy too they're both still here and uh, but some of y'all uh mama might not be here anymore uh, she, she might be right over there you don't know but uh, she might be in that beautiful uh, uh cemetery over there and, uh, i don't know but uh if she's still here go love on her today would you tell her how much you love her and thank her for everything she's done for you moms are special y'all and you only get one of them and so daddies are special too you don't get the wrong daddy's day's coming really soon but moms are special and i'm very grateful today for mama so i'm gonna do one more song for you and i'm gonna wrap it up and let brother Corey come back up here and, and kind of close things out but um i was mentioning to you today that Regardless of what's going around us today, y- y'all, again, y'all don't have to tell y'all we're in a mess. I mean, you've seen the stuff. Y'all seen story after story. Somebody on the news or somebody on the internet has got a story to tell, whether it's good or bad. But if all of us could just sit back, just for politics and all that stuff aside, just sit back and just realize what the true big picture of everything is. You know, if we'll all just place our full 100% complete trust in Jesus Christ, no matter what's around you. I don't know if I can get there because my gas and gas is so high. Yeah, it is. It is. That's the truth. That's a fact. It's not an opinion. It's a fact. My head, my head's hurting today. I just don't want to go to church. I get that. Been there. 
I've been there a lot. I get it. I'm human. Can't do this, can't do that, because Sister Susie might get offended, you know. Brother Tommy over there, boy, I just kind of can't do that. He might, he might scream at me. That's the world we're living in today, y'all. But if we can just sit back and just see the true big picture of everything and place our complete trust in Christ, man, the pressure would just be lifted. It's very simple. I mean, <laughs> I don't care what denomination you grew up in. I don't care what political party you're a part of, you know. It won't really make any difference to me. All I care about is if you love Jesus or not. If you love Christ, have you placed your trust, complete trust in Him as your Savior? For y'all watching online, whether it's there or whether it's there, you place your trust in Jesus Christ. He can do a world of difference for you. The best decision you'll ever make on this earth in this life is to make a decision for Christ. And I promise you when you do, Life will be better. He didn't promise us an easy life. He didn't promise us an easy road. We're still going to have issues. But he did promise us that he's going to walk with us every step of the way. Whatever you're facing today, whatever you're facing watching online, place your trust in Christ today and look at the big picture of it all. He loves you today no matter what you've done. All your, all your circumstances, whatever they are, lay them at his feet. Bible says very plainly, cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Would you do that today? Would you place your, your trust, everything you got in Jesus Christ today? No matter what you've done, no matter what circumstances, Jesus loves you today. I'm going to leave you with more, one more song. I want to turn it over to the pastor. I've enjoyed it again today. And uh, may, may the good Lord uh, sustain you today and uh, give you peace that only he can give today. Lying awake in the hours before morning Watching the light push back the dark That big burning ball always reminds me how insignificant my worries are in the big picture. Amen. Mm -hmm. Still, it's the little things that seem to get me when life isn't fair and nothing goes right. Well, I take it out on the people who love me. It's easy to do when you lose sight of the big picture. You been there? Because <laughs> in the big picture I see it all so clear. What I should do on this earth while I'm here. I love on out to my fellow man well I believe it's a truth that we all have inside us tested 